Well, welcome to the live stream. I'm here, uh, uh, well, I'm, I'm at my house, and my wife is going to show up anytime with our kids, and when she does, I'm probably going to just stop the live stream, because at that point, we're going to go and watch a movie, probably a fall movie. What, by the way, well, there's no one watching yet, but what's by, what is, what is your favorite fall movie? Do you care about fall movies? You should. They're an important part of life. I just finished shooting a video for this channel with this cigar, which was sent to me, free, a bunch of these, actually, from... Gotham Cigars, you should check them out. They actually gave me a free uh, promo code that I can share with you that gives you 10% off, but I don't have it with me. The video coming out in the next day or so will have that information, but I just filmed this over there, I'll show you. Because, I mean, what else am I gonna do here? Uh, uh, so right over there, can you, yeah. Right over there, right there. It, who cares, doesn't matter. That's where I was, that's where I was just doing it. It's, it's our shed, and the sign on the shed says uh, cigars. No, it doesn't. It says, yeah, it does. It says cigars and tobacco. It's pretty perfect. So, what's what's the haps, as people should not say? Let me see. Let me make sure. So, I want to make sure. I don't I don't know really what I'm doing with the live stream. I want to see if um, questions can be asked, conversations can be had. Like, if you type in a comment right now, what happens? Do I see it? I know I'm so... <coughs> Boy, I did that wrong. <laughs> I'm a professional, don't worry. I wonder how, um, I don't know, like I'm not seeing anything yet. Oh, live chat, maybe I need that up. Remember, blah, blah, blah. Okay, no, I don't know, I'm not seeing any. Oh, there we go, hello, Josh, oh, it's working, cool. Good, I like it better when there's people saying things in the chat, because then I don't feel like I'm just talking to myself. Oh, the cigar I'm smoking, by the way, is this one. Uh, can you see that? This is, I don't get why cigars, the labels on cigars drive me crazy because I don't know what they say. Like I, don't, I mean, I can read, but sometimes they're just in weird. So it's like, okay, this is a Romeo Y Julieta. Why? I don't know. That's just how it's written. What does that mean? Romeo Y Julieta. I'm assuming in whatever language this came from or whatever type of written word it is, it means and, right? I don't know. Anyways, Romeo, why Julieta? Why? Because she was adorable. 1875, Medela de Oro, Reserva Rill. What the heck's Reserva Rill mean? I don't know, it's that. Sent to me from, did I ever say this? I can't remember. I sent, they, uh, bleh, bleh, bleh. this was sent to me from, uh, Gotham Cigars. I wanted to say Gorilla Cigars, but that probably doesn't exist. Although, probably wouldn't be a bad name for a cigar company. Uh, Gotham Cigars. They actually... Oh, my wife is here. We'll see. So I'm going to stop the stream. I'll probably kind of keep it going. She'll be like, oh, geez, he's doing something on camera again. Anyways, I... Um, they gave me a discount code to... So anybody with the discount code gets 10% off. So if you'd like that, I will give that to you. In the video that I shot today, it'll be in the description and stuff. I don't have it with me right now, so I don't know what it was. Let's just be quiet for a minute while my wife comes in. And I'll pretend like I'm not shooting a video again. Hmm. Maybe she'll want to be in the video. That might be kind of fun. Okay. Well, so let me get the chat. I want to, I just, I, I made, okay, there we go. I screwed something up. Live chat. Okay, so they're here. So thanks for watching. I might wrap this up because we're going to go watch a movie. We'll see. <laughs> my daughter's walking by right now. So is my son, but I'm not going to show them. Romeo, why Juliet? Number one. Oh, you're number one. I don't know. Is this number one? It doesn't say. I guess it is. Maybe. It doesn't say what number it is. It is delicious, though. 1875. It's probably a year, not so much... Uh, the name of the cigar. All right, so let's uh, let's chit chat. What should we chat about? What would you like to chat about? What are you doing right now watching this? Where are you? Whoever you are. Mm. This is a good one. Oh, I'm at work. Zachary's at work. That's pretty good. I don't think I had. Uh, I don't think that is number one. Oh, it's a great brand though. Yeah, I like it. Eating French toast, delicious, Michael. Did you 
I'm reading the comments. If you're watching this later and you're like, who is he talking to? It's the, it's the comments. Um, did you make the French toast yourself? I don't like French toast, actually. Birmingham, Alabama. Oh, that's cool. At work. Oh, Sacramento. I know where that's at. Hmm. Oh. About to leave the gym. Wow. That's kind of cool. You worked out. I was thinking about doing that today. I haven't yet. Edmond, Edmond Oklahoma? Oh, or are you just saying okay? So waiting for, for you to message me back. What? I didn't see who that was. Oh, my breakfast every day. That's not bad. A law assignment from the UK. Wow. Just north of Oklahoma City. Uh, this is what, see, this is the problem with live streams, though. If you watch them back, all it is is some guy reading comments. That's lame. And then, like, I'm just reading towns and cities where people are from. Because that's what I asked for. But that doesn't make fun content. Anyways, so that's where people are from. Darwin, Australia. That's pretty cool. So, uh, Turkey. I'm just going to read names from his cities and places. Somebody throw out a better, com or better like, conversation starter. What, what would be... Oh, look at this, by the way. That is a good-looking burn on the cigar. Like, look at that piece. That's really what's important when you're smoking a cigar is making it look good. Like, that looks... Oh, it's going to blow away. Dear Lord, it's going to get all over me. Anyways, if you had to give up pipes and cigars, had to pick one. Ooh, that's a good one. Aaron Mooney said, if you had to give up pipes or cigars, which would you get rid of? Uh, cigars, for me. I like pipes better. Pipes, to me, taste way better. I like sort of the craft and care you have to have to to uh, enjoy them. And I like the look of them better. If I see a guy with a pipe, I'm always like, oh, that's a cool fellow. Maybe not cool. <sighs> Sometimes though, pipes look better to me. Somebody with a cigar, I like, but I don't know. There's something about the pipe that's more old school that I appreciate. But even though I like Pipes better, I tend to smoke cigars more often because they're so much quicker and easier. You know what I mean? Like to light them up, there's not as much, you know, like a pipe, you have to sit there and you have to get the tobacco and a tamper and a lighter and your your uh, pipe, obviously. And sometimes the pipe needs like cleaned out and before you actually smoke it. So it's just a process. It takes a little bit longer. Whereas the cigar, you just light the thing up and you're good to go. Let me see. There were some other ones that popped in there that I didn't see. How do I go back and see? Ugh, I did this last time. I couldn't figure out how to go back to... The comments, oh my gosh, top chat, no, I don't know, go away, now it's, now my phone has popped up some kind of welcome to live chat, remember to guard your safety, or privacy, that doesn't help, I want to see the chat as it happens, oh, I know I can do this, somebody last time in the comments was like, oh, you just do, oh, yeah, there we go, okay, I remember how, all right, let me go back, I'm reading comments right now. Uh, gonna start smoking pipes. That's cool. What's a good starter pipe? I don't know. Corn cobs are really cheap and they work great. Probably a good starter pipe. Uh, if you want to like buy a decent pipe, I don't know, do some research. But like usually $30 to $40 range for a pipe seems to be a pretty good place to start, I think. Uh, I think even burn means it's rolled well. well that's probably true. How'd you get into freelancing? That's pretty good. Maybe I'll do that one. Uh, okay. Oh, there's more. Okay. Uh, like the cheap pipes versus expensive pipe video. Thank you. Would you do one with the difference between mid-range and expensive? Oh, that'd be good. Is it worth hundreds? Oh, that'd be a good video. Yeah, maybe I'll do that one. Um, okay, let me read. What was one one of these questions that was pretty entertaining? Oh, oh, how do I get into uh, freelance? I guess that's not that entertaining. I don't know. Maybe it is. It's not to me. So who cares? Um, okay, well, it's kind of a, it's sort of a fun story I like to talk about. Uh, so I always worked for places for the most part, um, doing video work for the most part. And then when my family and I decided we were going to hit the road and travel in our travel trailer, um, we sold everything that we had. We were living in San Diego at the time and we needed money on the road. We figured out pretty quick. And so we, uh, or I, I had given notice at the place I was working at and I had about two months, maybe not even that before we were gonna hit the road and before I was done working there. So uh, that forced me into freelance. And so it's kind of like, um, I don't know, riding a bike or when, if, if you had a father that threw you into the deep end of the pool to figure out how to swim, 
and you didn't drown, uh, you just figure it out. And that's kind of how it was. I mean, there's a long story behind it, like details on what I did, but nobody cares about that. Um, it just, I just figured it out. I think that's the best way to do anything. If there's something you really, really want to do, but you keep not doing it, but you really want to, you think it's important. Uh, it's, it's, I like the be- one of the best things that I read was a quote or a story from somebody, I don't remember who, but he has this analogy about burning your boats, this idea of like this group of people wanted to storm this castle and this castle was on an island. So what they did is they went to the island and they burned their boats, their boats being the only way off the island. So it's basically this idea that if you wanna storm the castle and you wanna succeed, like you wanna give it your everything, succeed or fail, like burn your boat. And so for us, burning the boat was uh, selling, getting rid of everything we own, selling or giving away literally almost all of our like possessions um, and our house and two of our cars and telling the, my place of employment that we're gonna leave in, in a month or two. Like there was no way out basically. We ha- I had to figure out freelance, otherwise we wouldn't eat. So that was the idea there. It was good. Oh, more comments, sorry. I got lost in my own words. Uh, let's see. It's a good starter pipe. I think I did that one. What's up, Jimmy? Oh, uh, VCR 12. That's cool. Your videos are awesome. Thank you. Where'd you come up with VCR 12? That's kind of cool. Like, is that VCR, like video cassette recorder? Michael Q said, are you a journalist? Nope. I make videos for, uh, usually for like, cause we're kind of close to the Bay Area where we live. Not close, but sort of in, if you know California, there's like the Bay Area, close enough to where I do a lot of work with like tech startups and I don't know, little uh, people that have ideas for products and things and uh, work with them on videos, marketing videos, social media videos, that kind of thing. And documentary work a little bit here and there for some people. Um, we actually just finished Mm. I'm going to be doing a video on this coming up, but we're working on a project called 500 Feet Ahead for a long time. And uh, finally, the film is going to be released on Amazon, Amazon Prime, probably this week or next week. There's been some hiccups, things I've figured out with Amazon, but it'll be on there. It's a film all about, um, that's not what this channel is about now. Well, it kind of is, whatever. Do whatever we want. Um... Not we, like I have multiple personalities, but I mean like we as you guys watching this, it's like, I was gonna say this is our channel, it's not, it's just my channel, but it doesn't work, it's not fun without people watching it, so it's important to know what people wanna watch. Anyways, the point is, the film's gonna come out pretty soon, so I'll be doing a whole video thing on that. The trailer's actually out right now, if you search on YouTube 500 feet ahead, you can watch the trailer for it. It's all about roadside attractions and um, a group of, people who work in sort of the creative field who like make things for other people to consume similar to roadside attractions like these people who built up um these places that people used to stop off on when they were traveling and how our culture has changed quite a bit to where these roadside attractions are kind of dying out and people are more apt to take the fastest quickest way to get somewhere rather than the slower route um so by anyways it's a it's a cool movie i i like it um yeah, it's not out yet. It'll be out, uh, I don't know, in a week or so. Once I get approval and everything goes through with Amazon Prime. So, oh, so, so somebody said, where did Suburban Pilgrims come from? The name. Um, we were trying to figure out a name when we, when I, my family and I hit the road. You know, we traveled for almost four years full-time on the road, and it was a big thing, big change for us, and we did it for a lot of different reasons. But when I looked up what pilgrimage meant, it meant something about, like, going on... I'm not going to try. I'm going to butcher it. I don't remember. But pilgrimage made sense to what we were doing. We felt like our family, we were going on a pilgrimage, on a pilgrimage, and we were leaving suburbia and everything. A lot of things that suburbia meant for us, we were leaving behind. So it was kind of, it was like suburban pilgrims. We left suburbia for this pilgrimage, which still applies to, I think, the cigar focused sort of channel it's become. Um, Because I still like to do things. We like to live a little bit differently, my family and I. Um, not so much, I guess, what's normal or what is perceived as normal, I guess. I think it still works. Let me go back through some of these comments. I keep missing them. Uh, so many nice things. Let's see. 
Um, I love how your surface conversations, the vids go deep. Oh, that's good. Thanks. I always think that's going to be lame when I like start a video that's called like how to smoke a cigar and then it turns into something else completely. But I'm glad people, I'm glad you like it. Um, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Oh yeah. Somebody said, uh, that story gets summed up in the movie cars. Yeah. It's kind of, kind of like that. I mean, the message behind it's kind of similar. What rituals do you do along with your pilgrimage? Holy cow. I don't know. That could be a long video. Maybe I'll do a video on that. That might be fun. Uh, yeah. Who's it? Is that a Romeo? Why Julieta? How do, yes, it is. How did you know that? And also what is the why? Does why mean and Romeo and Juliet? I don't know. Um, when I'm 21, I want to smoke a cigar, but I'm 16 now. Yeah, that makes it a little difficult. Um, mm. Oh, shoot. Did it go out? I think my cigar went out. Dang it. Oh, no. I'm getting it back. Oh, uh, that's a sign of a pro there. Just give me a moment, please. I got to... Mm -mm. So, anyone watching, if you smoke cigars, what's your what's your smoke release face? I was thinking about that today because like you you draw the smoke into your mouth, and then you go like, is it like that? Is it just uh, do you just kind of let it go naturally like um, uh, like you're gonna die? It's a weird. It's kind of a weird place. If you took photos of people's smoke release face, that could be an entertaining book or something or Instagram channel. Oh, an Instagram account. That's not a bad idea, right? An Instagram account that only takes photos of people when they're releasing the smoke out of their mouth because everyone has a weird face when they do that. Be called like smoke face. That's not bad. Oh. And then everybody who watches, the, the six of you that watch this channel um, could send me your, your, your smoke release face and that could be in the Instagram account. It's probably a terrible idea. All right, I'm gonna go to 20 minutes. It's at 17 minutes now, a couple more minutes because my family's here now. So I wanna go in, oh gosh, I just spilled all over me. And uh, we have some family stuff to tend to. By family stuff, I mean we're gonna watch a fall movie. It's probably what we're gonna do. Um, and I just dumped this and it came out like that. I always like when it's straight and not like a, oh well, whatever. Let me go back to the comments, see if I've missed anything. Nope, nothing new. Anyone have anything else they want to talk about? Say whatever the next comment is. Whatever you, whatever you comment, I'll answer that question. Probably won't be a, a real answer, but I'll I'll fake an answer. Oh, side note: any of you who actually do smoke cigars, do you think there's such a thing as a like professional cigar smoker? I don't think there is. There's just people who do it a lot and they think they have all the answers. I don't think there's a right way, professional way to smoke a cigar. I don't know, maybe I'm wrong. Uh, okay, I just wanted to make sure I had the chat up there right. No one has any anything. Just send something ridiculous to comment on and uh, and I'll give it a go. I only have a minute and a half left and then I'm done. I need to work out today too. Somebody in there said they were at the gym or just finished up at the gym and they were watching this and that makes me feel guilty. I need to go work out. Mm. Man, this is good. It's almost over. I mean, the cigar, which is what I want to do. That's why I streamed, by the way. I filmed, if you didn't hear earlier, I was shooting a video like uh, for this channel and um, and I finished the cigar pretty quick and there was still quite a bit left on it and I didn't want to waste it. So I, I just thought, well, I'll just go live. Why not? Uh, well, it seems to be the end. I have about 45 seconds left. Oh, no comments, nothing. Somebody put something in there. Just a little something, something. A little, uh, anything? Did it stop? Did I do something wrong? Maybe I did something wrong. I may have shut off the comments. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. I think I'm going to do that. And then, no, I'll do that. Yeah, okay. I don't know. I don't know what I did wrong. Oh, gosh. Why does he, is, is, is another YouTube, like, Remember to guard your privacy and abide by our community guidelines. Jeez, YouTube. 
That would be so rude. Anyways, gang, thanks for watching this. I'm going to shut this off now. Sorry, it's a short one. I do want to do these regularly. I, I've said that before. I will try to start doing these more regularly because they are fun. I super enjoy it. Um, anyways, thanks for uh, sitting around while I finish my cigar. We'll do this again. I have another really good video. Well, I think. <laughs> Tip of my own hat. Uh, I think it's going to be a good video coming out tomorrow. Tomorrow morning at 6 a.m. It's the one I filmed right over here. Uh, right here. I'll show you. You can see, actually, I left the camera over there. I should go grab it. And as I finish.